Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's edition of Advanced Bass Fishing and really appreciate you guys coming by the channel to spend some time with me and check the video out today. Gonna have a just a laid back Sunday afternoon conversation on catching bass in the month of December today, guys. Sort of some advanced techniques. I've got one technique that I really like to use in the month of December that pretty much works anywhere that you have a man-made lake. It's not gonna work if you fish a grass lake or you know natural body water but if you fish a man-made lake this is pretty much guaranteed that you can catch some fish doing this if you're struggling in the month of December so we're going to get into that in today's video. I'm um, also guys quick invitation I'd just like to invite everybody to please hit that subscribe button here to advanced bass fishing we're really working hard to try to get to 10,000 subscribers we're just about I think three or four hundred people away from it right now so that'd be much appreciated and also thank you everybody that's been supporting advanced bass fishing by uh, using and bookmarking my tackle warehouse link in the description of every video for your tackle purchases um, if you guys have been doing that big thank you for me and my family really appreciate that okay guys december really good month to bass fish a lot of people they sort of like lose interest when you get into the winter months but I don't really consider like December to be like a hardcore winter month for bass fishing because like here in Missouri, we still have water temperatures, you know, in the fifties and sixties. It's not, it's not cold. I mean, it's, it's the days of this December 1st at the filming of this video. So you could literally still catch fish on top water here in Missouri in December. So it's not like you're in this freezing hardcore, you know, situation, you know, winter fishing, but I want to give you guys sort of a, a simple yet an advanced approach to how I like to catch fish in any lake I go across the country, man-made lake in the month of December, and that's by fishing a channel bank. Now, a lot of you guys know what channel banks are. If you're not familiar with a channel bank, a channel bank is a steeper bank that's normally situated, well, it can be either in creek arms or on the main lake, but it's normally not like in a cove. It's normally a creek arm or a main lake where the old creek channel or the old river channel swings in close to the bank and traditionally that's marked by a very steep bank. It's usually a bluff type bank, a 45 degree, 60 degree angle bank that drops off pretty sharp into deeper water. Now some channel banks are different than others in terms of how close the deep water is to it. Some of the channel banks literally have the creek channel right against the bank and some of them may have the creek channel you know, 30, 40, 50 foot away from that bank, but I still classify that as a channel bank if it is a steep bank and it's closer to deep water. Most channel banks have some type of a mixed rock variation depending upon the lake you're fishing. It can be a vertical rock wall, it can be a mixed bluff wall, it can be a, a chunk rock bank, it can be um, boulders mixed with chunk rock. It can even be a pea gravel bank. You can even have a pea gravel bank where the channel hits real close to it. So the, the type of rock that you have on it really varies a lot, but nevertheless, that's how it's set up. Now, my favorite type of channel bank to fish in the wintertime is in the major creek arms. So I'll usually pick out two or three of the major creek arms and I'll run back in there and start hitting these channel banks. And normally the best channel banks are gonna be about halfway back into the creek to two thirds of the way back in the creek. Not to say the ones at the mouth don't work, but it seems like to me, I like to get like halfway back in there. And the techniques that I fish a channel bank are wide ranging depending upon the conditions on the lake that you're fishing. And a lot of it has to do with the water uh, clarity and the water temperature. So let's get into that a little bit. Now, let's start a little bit on more of a stain situation and then we'll go up to a little bit more clear water situation. First of all, I don't like to fish hardly any place, any lake, if you've got less than two foot of visibility. If you, if you have less than two foot of visibility in December and January, fishing is usually not that good. I'm not saying you can't catch them, but it's usually a lot tougher to catch fish. So I consider my stained water channel bank fishing to sort of be that two to three foot zone. Now, once you get two to three foot of visibility and you have a channel bank in December, and you got water temperatures in the 50s or 60s, a lot of different things can work on this. Probably my number one favorite technique is throwing some type of a shallow or medium running crankbait on it. Parallel in the banks, making long cast parallel to those channel banks and trying to knock sort of that two to four foot zone. So I need some type of a crankbait that will easily hit two to four feet. 
Um, probably my favorite is something like a wiggle wart or a rock crawler. Works really good. Um, colors can be varying, you know, if it's a low light condition, I'll go to like a perch pattern or a, a chartreuse side black back or a crawdad pattern. If it's brighter out, some type of a shad pattern. But a crankbait is gonna be really good in that little bit off colored water. Another technique that wor it works really good is pitching a jig to, to those rocks in that little bit off colored water. So I'll take something like my blocket throwback jig usually like a brown with an orange is a real good color in that situation and just methodically work around those rocky banks working down into sort of that two to five foot zone now as the water gets cleaner let's say that you've got three to three to five foot visibility which is or or greater let's just say three foot three foot visibility on up to eight or ten or whatever the clarity is on it then it opens up some more techniques that you can fish and a lot of it is more weather dependent now, once you get into more of a cleaner water situation with that, um, this is when probably my favorite technique is fishing a finesse jig. So I'll put on like a little, maybe a quarter ounce or three eighths ounce finesse jig. Um, also guys, I'm in the process of designing a finesse jig for Cumberland Pro Lures. It's probably gonna be out within the next month or two. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But a little brown or green pumpkin finesse jig, fish on those rocky banks, the channel banks, again, picking it apart fishing sort of that four to maybe 15 foot zone with the finesse jig. Usually fishing it on like 10 to 12 pound fluorocarbon line, um, real slow and methodically with that. If you've got some lower light conditions, like you've got clouds or some type of wind, the crankbait's still gonna work good, especially more of a crawdad pattern. So if I've got say five foot of clarity and I'm fishing a channel bank and I've got a cloudy, windy type day. Again, the wiggle wart or rock crawler is gonna be a really good technique. Another really good technique is gonna be a jerk bait. Parallel on those channel banks with the jerk bait when that water temperature's in the 50s is gonna be a really good way to catch them. Uh, depending upon the slope of the bank, I'll either parallel with that jerk bait or I'll cast at a 45 degree angle. If the water's really clear, you know, those fish can be farther out away from that channel bank suspended. But if the water's a little bit more on the three foot visibility side, a lot of times I'll parallel that four to five foot zone with it. Jerk bait's really good with that. Another technique is a Alabama rig. Alabama rig's a really good bait to throw on a channel bank. Catch a lot of fish on that. You're gonna catch more fish on an Alabama rig on those windy, cloudy days on those channel banks. But um, a couple of different things to pay attention to. Always pay attention to any time you have like an irregular feature on that bank. Um, pay close attention to any type of um, out rock outcroppings or rock slides, um, anything that's a little bit different. A, a lay down tree is gonna be a high percentage area. And also when you get on a channel bank, the, the two key areas on a channel bank are gonna be about a hundred yards before you get to a point or some type of a rock slide. Those are the, gonna be the two really high percentage areas on it. and. You can't, the, one of the good ways to judge if a channel bank is good, because a lot of times, guys, these channel banks will run for miles. So instead of just randomly getting on a part of it and fishing forever, start at the point. Say, say every channel bank's got a point at some place, you know, like a secondary point. Start on the point and work maybe 100 yards down from the point along the channel bank. If you catch some fish in this particular area, there's a good indication that you'll probably pick up some more fish down the channel bank. But if you fish from the point down 100 yards or so without any bites at all, that's probably a good indication you're not gonna catch much the rest of the length of it because that's where a lot of those fish will live at within about 100 yards of that point, either side of it. So it's hard to beat it, guys. Like I said, it's uh, one of my favorite ways to catch fish that this time of year, it's easy to do. Every lake has it. Bass will live on these banks all year long, but it seems like to me that, you know, the December's a really good month to fish it. And I'd say if you gave me one way to catch fish on it, it's hard to beat a jig. Either the full-size jig or finesse jig. I catch a lot of fish on a jig on channel banks, especially if I have a lake that has a mixed species, like a lake that has some level of a mix of spotted bass, largemouth and smallmouth, that's really good with it. Uh, but not necessarily. So um, anyway, guys, easy way to catch them that time of year. Just get on those channel banks, figure out what those fish want. It's a good way to get some bites this time of year. We'll see y'all.